Hi, I am Vasudha Raghunathan, a Senior Product Specialist with Informatica Global Customer Support. This video is to help you run Infinite Dump to collect stacks and heap dumps to provide to Informatica support for troubleshooting your Java process hang or crash. Firstly, let us look at some basics of Infinite Dump, its purpose and the prerequisites. Infinite Dump is a script that is designed to collect Java stacks, native stacks, and Java heap dumps for troubleshooting Java processes. Infinite Dump supports Informatica 9.x products, that is 9.0.x and 9.1.x and 9.5.x on the platforms Linux, Solaris, AIX, and HPUX. Infinite Dump is currently not available for Windows. Let us move on now to the prerequisites. Firstly, info underscore home, which is an environment variable that points to the Informatica installation directory, is required to be set. This is a requirement on all platforms. This is checked at the level of the script itself. On AAX, full core dump and IBM underscore heap dump are required to be set. On HPUX, GDB, that is the debugger, is required to be a version 5.3 or greater. And the minimum disk space for the output of Infinite Dump, which includes Java stacks, native stacks, and Java heap dumps, is required to be at 4 GB. Infinite Dump performs a prerequisite check within the script itself for all the requirements except disk space. That is, info underscore home is checked on AX full core dump and IBM underscore heap dump is checked and on HPUX GDB version is checked. Now proceeding to the prerequisite for 9.5. Starting 9.5 which is version 9.5 of Informatica Java is not packaged on OS's AIX and HPUX. So for handling this info underscore JDK underscore home is required to be set for AIX and HPUX. Again, this is checked at the level of the script itself. Now, let us proceed to the options that are available for running Infinite Dump. Firstly, there is a mandatory option of either PID or a core file location. That is the absolute path of the core file. PID is the process ID of the hanging process and minus C the option for passing the absolute core file path name for an existing core of a process crash. These two are mandatory for infinite dump to run. The optional parameters are the options of choosing whether you require a stack or a heap dump. Stack will collect the Java stack and the native stack. The heap dump collects the he Java heap dump, the Java stack and the native stack. The default is heap dump which collects both the stack as well as the heap dump. You can also specify the output directory for storing your collected artifacts. The default again is slash temp slash infinite dump. It is important that you have the read and write permissions on whichever directory the output is directed to except for the default the permissions are checked from the script zip file name for the archive file that will be created all the output in terms of your uh, java heap dump java stack and native stack will be archived into a .tgz file that can then be uploaded to informatica ftp site so the default is the output directory dot tgz, output directory name dot tgz. There are two other options that are specific to process ID input, that is iterations and run interval. In most cases, when Informatica support is collecting information for a process hang, they require that a script be run multiple times with a time interval in between. For example, they may ask you to require, uh, they may ask you to run a script uh, for three times with a two minute time interval. So the iterations 
is an option to provide the number of times that infinite dump has to run and the run interval is the number of seconds each run has to be spaced so the default for the iterations is 3 and the default is 180 seconds what this translates into is if you have a process that is hanging by default infinite dump will run three times and it will wait three minutes between each run now for an example I have an Informatica domain on Linux that apparently has gotten into a hang and I would need to collect the Java stacks native stacks and Java heap dumps to provide to Informatica support firstly make sure that you have a directory containing the latest infinite dump and the latest stack both of which have been modified for version 9.5 this means these files will work for versions 9.0.x, 9.1.x and 9.5.x please maintain this directory structure as you see here now let us find the process ID of the hanging process in my case it is a domain so the process ID is 833 this is the domain process let us now run infinite dump with the PID option and a modification of the run interval to 30 seconds for demonstration purposes with no further changes to other defaults now we see that the first set of artifacts have been collected and we are waiting for 30 seconds before collecting the next stack and heap dump when you get this message please do not abort the infinite dump process now the second set of artifacts are collected we are now waiting for 30 more seconds for collection of the last set of artifacts now the artifacts are being tarred that is they're being archived and here you can see the default file name of the artifact now the process is completed and all the output files are tarred and you have to be able to upload this into the Informatica FTP site in binary mode now now that infinite dump has completed running let us look at the output directory in our case it is slash temp now that we've gone there let us look at the list of artifacts inside here you can see that we have the tgz file for our latest run let us see if this archive has all the necessary information collected so we will unzip and check the contents of the tar
we have unzipped into a tar. Now let us check the contents of this tar. Here we see three Java stacks one, two, and three, and three native stacks one, two, and three, and three heap dumps that is one, two, and three. We also have an infinite dump dot log that can be used for troubleshooting infinite dump by itself. Now this is the archive that can be uploaded to the support FTP site for further troubleshooting by Informatica. Thanks again for your time. This is how infinite dump is used.